Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my Mafia Girlfriend. That's right. We're back after what's been a couple weeks. I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, welcome back, and I hope you guys watched the update video before you watch this. The update video is the one before this video. Clearly. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, so let's see where we are, or where we're going. Because that's my favorite part of life, to see where I'm going. I think he's gonna hurt someone. Oh no, uh, good thing I purchased another ticket. I knew this would happen. <laughs> you always gotta pay for another fucking ticket in this game. Game, listen up here. I'll get around to that fucking game when I get around to it, okay? I rush home. I'm actually kind of interested to figure out what happens. What is my father planning? I don't know. What, what is he planning? What does he mean, make them pay? I don't know. <laughs> when I get inside, father's already on a teriad complaining to the staff. Nobody was supposed to know what is that deal. Nobody! I can't do that voice. I mean, I'm going to do the Lily voice. <clears throat> Gotta work up, work up to it. All right, here we go. How did our enemy organization get any clues? Father, I'm here. Ah, oh, perfect. You're just in time. You're going to need to hear what I have to say. What, you're leaving me the whole mafia? That's a great thing. This has gone on long enough. We have to show them who's in charge here. Even if it means sending them a little... warning. Um, what kind of warning? He grins... evilly. They took something from me by ruining my deal. So I'm about to take something from them. Don't tell me we're gonna be taking Ray. Take something? You don't mean... It's too late. They brought this on themselves. We're going to show them that no one messes with the Red Stars. Oh, God. I can't take it. I can't take that seriously. Oh, no. It's the Red Stars. Oh, my God. They're here. They're going to beat our asses. Oh, those pesky Red Stars. Who are you fucking kidding here, dude? Come on. It's time to take back our power, by force! <laughs> Hold on there. You can't believe it. He was serious. He usually is. He really is gonna hurt someone. But who? It can't be. Ooh. My favorite. I love that when ha things happen like this, it makes my jittery bits all a tingle. Let's see. Comply or rebel? This is history right here, everybody. You know me. I've got a fire in my heart. We're gonna rebel. Father, no! I know what you're thinking. This, that is not, this is not the way to solve a problem. Oh, and how many of our problems have you solved? Well, I'm, I live and I don't talk to you. I mean, that's, that's one right there. Instead, you've been causing problems left and right. You're supposed to be the heir. Sorry. <laughs> how can I trust you to take over the business? When you're too sensitive to even handle the work we do. Work? You call this work? No, what I did in the, in the in the festival thing, that was work. We made cupcakes. I was a cupcake. A bruised and beaten cupcake, but I was a cupcake. Have you been a cupcake, father? No, I don't think so. You're planning to send someone to kill someone. Not kill. Erase. I look at him in disbelief. I can't hear anymore. I storm off. He talks so much about taking matters into his own hands. 
but all he's doing is jerking off his own ego. I wish I could do that to I wish I could do that myself and stop him. But how? Just then our wife who appears. Lindsay appears. And Burfox, I heard what happened. Is he serious? How do you know? <laughs> Why does everyone know everything before I do? <laughs> No wonder I keep screwing shit up, they don't clue me in on anything. Why do I have a brown spot on my hand? I'm not exactly sure why I have a brown spot on my hand, but okay. Yes, he's taking this way too far now. I hate to say it yet, but I even, even I agree with you now. There's no way we're going to reach a peaceful resolution if he murders someone. Yeah, for real, though. But Ember Fox, do you realize we're a mafia organization? We could be a cupcake organization. That's kind of what happens here. But this is completely uncalled for. You can't even prove that they did it. How is it fair to kill innocent people to prove a point? Even our enemies don't deserve that. Okay, I kind of disagree here, but I'm not going to elaborate. <laughs> you know, Justice Boy, for once, I agree with you. Oh, thanks. We have a pet name now. We're Justice Boy. whoop de fucking do <laughs> Mostly because I don't want the situation escalate and put us in more danger. Put us more in danger. Whichever one you like, it's fine. But I keep thinking about those guys who attacked us the other day. Us? Did you just fucking say us? Honey. I got my goddamn ass whooped for you. Alright? If that doesn't warrant a little bit of romance, nothing does. Right? Someone out there already knows who we are. It's probably people that, you know, have to do with Leo, honestly. If Father does something reckless like this... He might upset the wrong people. We might not be so lucky, lucky next time. Well, just taking it out won't solve the problem either. Talking about it. What do you mean? I'm saying we should do something about it. What a brilliant idea! How? You know he would never listen to me. Would he listen to you? How do you even have such pink hair? Exactly, we don't tell him. Whoa. You know, he could have you killed, too. And then I'd have to go with genocide. What? Lindsay! No! I'm gonna stop him. How? My father? You know that man won't listen to anyone. No, the assassin. What? What? You could get yourself killed! No, I can do this, but... I need someone to come with me. I'll be fucking really useless, but I guess I'll go. <laughs> and protect me. Okay, so you definitely need you need someone else who isn't me. Okay, got you. She lowers her voice and eyes as she says this. Better keep those eyes up here, honey. <laughs> Does she mean me? Jenny! Uh, yeah, clearly, dude. <laughs> She grabs my hand. Emberfox, come with me. Please, protect me. I'm not good at that. <laughs> I'm about as useful as a ragdoll. <laughs> okay, there it goes again. I'm shocked to see this bold side of Lindsay. And at the same, excited. We're not going to nitpick at their grammar, alright? Let's not do that. However, this is a dangerous situation. Yeah, which I don't know why we're going. <laughs> I don't want Lindsay risking her life. But if I say, maybe if I say no, she'll stay. I look at her pleading, emerald eyes. What should I do? Hmm. 
Let's see, do we want to be a hero again? <laughs> I mean, we gotta remember we're not playing my dog girlfriend where the character's kind of a badass. No, we're playing my mafia girlfriend where the guy is a fucking piece of shit who doesn't even know how to fight properly. Even though he's an heir to a fucking organization, he doesn't know how to fight. So, you know, there's always that. So I guess we can just take, she can just use us as a meat shield. So we're just going to go with her. We will be your meat shield, Lindsay. As my pride as a gentleman, I will use it as part of the meat shield. Lindsay, I'll go with you. I can't let you take such a risk alone. She looks at me. I'm fucks. Thank you for that. That's all I ever get is a thank you. I never get hugs or compassion. I just get thank yous. That's all I ever get. It's fine. I'm fine with being just friends, I guess. So, what's the plan? I don't know, but leaving the house seems like a good start. Drat. And here I thought it, the plan would involve going and playing on an Xbox. I head outside with Lindsay. How are we going to get out? The entire estate is surrounded. We're going to use the Underground Railroad. Don't worry, I've already figured it out. Oh, so you planned this already. <laughs> How lovely. She winks. We get to the back of my father's main estate. The fence is lined with bushes. I tapped it. Why isn't it doing anything? Oh, there it goes. Shh! She takes my hand. Are you leading me to Never Never Land? She leads me to the bushes and crouches. Under here. <laughs> under where? <laughs> she crawls under the bushes. Damn it. I mean, good. And winds up on the other side. <gasps> Twilight Zone shit here, my dudes. What? How did you... Bet you didn't know there's an opening in the gate behind this bush, huh? Do you think I ever go outside? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. I follow her lead. We head down the moonlit back streets towards the Bastille residence. What, do they live right across the street? We can't just go over there and say, Hey, would you like to give us a cup of sugar? How do you plan to get into their place? Well, it shouldn't be hard to, too hard to find a point of entry. I'll show you a point of entry. You sound so sure. Think about it. The assassin must know how to get in, right? I bet, but he's a trained professional. So if we find him before he gets in, then we won't have to. We stealthily approach the Bastille estate. The entire property is surrounded by a tall stone wall. A shadow catches our eye. It's him. What? You think it was the assassin? It has to be. Come on. We move in the direction of the shadow. And in case you guys don't know, I'm trying to make this video into an hour-long video. Just letting you know. This guy's professional. We'll never catch up. Not with that attitude, you're not. Suddenly, a flashlight shines only a feet away from us. Oh, crap. Night guards, we duck into the bushes. Lindsay wraps an arm around my around me neck. Lindsay wraps an arm around me neck, hand over my mouth. <laughs> Shh, you're breathing too loud. I can't help it. I need more oxygen when I'm near you. That was probably the, like one of the weirdest pickup lines ever. <laughs> we watch from under the bush until the footsteps pass by. This is too dangerous. We should go back. I didn't realize our character was such a little bitch. No, we've come too far to lose it all. There, that's how we got in. She points to a tree growing on the side of the stone perimeter. A branch drapes over the wall. How original. That's never been in any shows or any stories in the history of mankind. 100% original. You must have climbed the tree and jumped off the other side. Clearly. You're crazy. Even if we do find him. Sorry, I thought I was going to burp. How are we going to stop him? Lindsay takes something out of her pocket and waves it in my face. Better not be a roll of goddamn condoms. Because, I mean, we can cut off his breathing with one. It's a taser. Oh. Where were you hiding it? 
Lindsay, you really do think of everything. Yep, now how good are you at climbing trees? About as good I, as uh, I am at fighting and selling cupcakes. We approach the tree. She climbs onto my shoulders. Ooh, don't look up, pal. We're going to get our ass kicked if we do. <laughs> I firmly grip her legs. Ooh. And as I hoist her up. Her legs are so smooth and toned. Hey, don't get too distracted down there. I'm sorry, it's, it's such a great sight. <coughs> I'm not. Blushing, I push her up into the tree when she missteps. I stop her fall, catching her, her behind with my hands. It's, it's so soft. Your, our character is such a virgin. I can't believe it. This right here is just going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> they always have to put these parts in a story. Um, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to grab your smooth and scrumptious ass. I quickly push her up into the tree, throwing her as if she was a baseball. She steps on my head again <laughs> to gain balance. Ow! Shh, you deserve that. It was well worth the price. My face is red and my head hurts. That's how all anime characters end up being after such a lovely uh, encounter. What was that noise? It sounds like I came from over here. Oh crap, now I've done it. You dummy, hurry up, get up here. Lindsay, this is the part where we depart. She, she offers her hand, I hear footsteps approaching. I launch myself up into the tree. Losing my footing, I land right on top of her. <laughs> oh, this is great, great material. I'm sitting right in her lap. Her chest is pre pressed right into my back. Perfect. I can't move or I'll fall out of the tree. <laughs> what now, Lindsay? Um, Emperor Fox? I'm sorry, I can't move. I can feel us both turning red. The voices approach beneath us. I heard a noise around here. I can see two flashlight beams waving frantically below. We have an intruder. Look at this. Is that a taser? Lindsay grass gasps and pats her pocket. Oh no. Oh no. It must have fallen out when she slipped. Good thing that's the only thing that's, that uh, fell out when she slipped. I feel myself beginning to lose my balance sliding off of her lap. Lindsay, I'm slipping. Catch me with your beautiful thighs. Without a word, she wraps her arms around me. That works, too. I grab her hands without thinking. My thoughts run wild just by holding her hand once. Hold on, I made some tea. I'm actually going to see if it's, if it's uh, cool enough to drink yet. Nope. Just burned my tongue. <clears throat> and Fox. Uh? I just want to let you know that if we die here... Yes? Well, I did kind of always like you. No shit. But thank you, Lindsay. What? What did she just say? We're interrupted by a gunshot. Cold run! Cold... Cold Kool-Aid, man! The intruder has infiltrated the estate. Shots have been fired. Send back up. Both guards run away towards the noise, leaving us alone. Neither of us can say a word. Because there's blood oozing from our chest. No, I wish. We wait until the coast is clear. She loosens her grip on me and we slide out of the tree. Ooh. 
Ember Fox. We were too late. It's never too late for us, Lindsay. <laughs> Something seems off about the atmosphere here. We're just going to skip that entire bit there, aren't we? <clears throat> Love it when this, these games do that. <sighs> Everyone seem uneasy. <laughs> Everyone seems to be whispering about something. I catch an occasional glance my way. What's going on? Just then. Don't tell me fucking Leo. Okay. Thank God. It's the one person I want to see. Hey, Ember Fox. I jump. Oh, genocide. Oh, it's been so good to see you. It's been weeks, weeks since I last saw you. I scared you, didn't I? Just a little bit. You're so jumpy. That's cute. Thanks. She cackles unnervingly. <laughs> that was my attempt at cackling, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Genocide, did, did something happen? Hmm? She looks at me quizzically. You mean you want me to tell you for free? God damn it, why? Genocide, why? <laughs> You're gonna make me spend all my fucking rubies again. Why do you do this to me, Genocide? You know I'm gonna spend them on you. And that's the worst part. You want me to pay you? I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> of course not, silly. Not in cash, anyway. Ooh. This is getting a spicy. She winks at me. What, do I have to pay you in um, sexual favors or something? I don't know if I can do that. You see, I have this growing affection for Lindsay. But you will always be best girl, Genocide. Um, yeah, Jen, I'm serious. Who said I wasn't? Look, I'll take you out another time, okay? But tell me what's going on. Okay. Okay. Only if you... Only you promise. I promise. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Here's the deal. Apparently, it was all over the news this morning. It? What was? I don't watch the news, so I have no idea. Huh? You can't just pretend you don't know. Aren't you the Mafia boy? <laughs> Silence, my dear. I told you not to say that word around here. Oh, <laughs> right, sorry. Anyway, she lowers her voice. The assassination. The what? How do you not know this? Wasn't the victim your own rival group member? What I didn't know was how it was publicized. Father's plan was to assassinate a couple of minor staff members. Okay, that's fine. I thought he was going to go kill Ray. As messed up as it is, the kind of, that kind of thing happens in gangs all the time. You don't say. It wasn't something to make the headlines about. I'm sorry, I really didn't know. So, uh, who was assassinated? Well, then you're gonna be in for a shock. She lowers her voice again. Ooh. Ah. Damn. Okay. It was the brother of the heir to the steel group. You know, that's second in line to the throne. Should anything happen to the first? Wait, what? I can't believe what I'm hearing. Did my father want to start a damn war? He would never do something so reckless. Yeah, well, he, he did. 
What could have happened? The news announced an impending feud by, by both families. How do you not know this? Never, never mind. Thanks, genocide. Thanks. I think I have a bone to pick with my father. I gotta go. But what about our dates? What about it? Rain check. I run off leaving Jen in a genocide in a huff. Stop right there, boy. Why the rush? No, no, it's it's probably that fucking cop bitch again. Turn around. Yep, it's cop bitch again. It's Mr. Pratt. You you look like you just heard some very bad news. No, sir, I just realized I forgot some very important study notes at home. I have a quiz today. Is that so? Well, I'll tell the teacher to give you a pass on this one. There are a few questions I need to ask. Um, what kind of questions? Surely you've heard the news this morning. About the weather, sir? You're a smart one, aren't you? I'm sorry, I don't watch the news, sir. Well, no matter. I'm sure you've heard about it anyway. About the impending mafia feud. Is there anything you know about this? Mafia boy? What? Why would you expect me to know that? Considering the recent allegations, I can't overlook your possible knowledge on it. Mr. Pratt, those allegations were already proven false. Mr. Pratt narrows his eyes at me. Now listen here. You know just as well as I do that that was fake news. Fake? That kid didn't do it. Did you see what he looked like? Someone like that is not capable of pulling such a prank. You'd be surprised. Is my tea fucking good enough to drink yet? Ah, fuck it. It's worth a try. <sighs> yep, good enough to drink. Finally. <laughs> it's been cooling off for about 20 minutes now. <clears throat> How do I know you didn't hire him to cover your own self? I don't know, man. Why are you so sure it's me? How could he see through that? It's true, he was hired as a cover for someone. But it sh for sure as fuck wasn't for me. Still, I don't think I can tell him about Leo now. In any case, don't you find the timing a little bit odd? Several days after a student almost gets out... As a Mafia member. The groups are on the news for in internal family feuds. That prank must have made someone very angry, no? Oh, that, was a good, that was a good one. Hmm, that's a coincidence. I think it's just an unfortunate coincidence. I doubt such prominent criminal figures would take notice of a minor school prank. Unless the prank involves someone in the family. I understand your point, sir, but even still, if I were hypothetically involved, as you say, I'm willing to bet organized crime groups have bigger issues to worry about than a school prank. You are a smart young man. Just the kind of person someone in such a group would admire. You might even be air material, dare I say. That is, if you were really involved. Which, clearly I'm not. There's no proof. Or should there be, because I'm simply not involved. He looks me up and down suspiciously. Hmm. I guess that's all the questions I have for now. You call those fucking questions? I'm on to you. Don't forget that. How can I when you show up at the most inconvenient times? You're like fucking dick warts, dude. He walks away. I don't have time to worry about Mr. Pratt and his silly investigations now. I'm sure my father must have seen the news by now.
<clears throat> Hold on, I gotta move this box. <clears throat> Alright, there, I moved it. I must know what this is all about. This is an outrage. How could we let this happen? Banjo. What are the details of our assassin? Uh, currently I don't, sir. How can this be? Not only did he kill the wrong person, he hasn't returned. His GPS seems to have been, uh, been deactivated. Maybe he realized how badly he messed up and, uh, and went AWOL. Gone rogue is more like it. How can must it make such a critical mistake? There's an email from the Bastilles, sir. They received a note. What? From who? From you, sir. Me? Nonsense! I didn't send a note. What's it say? It says, uh, in a very menacing tone, sir. It says, um, I'm coming for you next. It's addressed to the uh, steel bus and signed by you. What? Where is this note? It was attached to the victim's face. The brother of the heir. Did the assassin write it? How do you take this into his own hands like this? Did we somehow allow a mole in? We need to make some critical area evaluations now. The intention was not to start a war with them. But now all the evidence points to us. Banjo, gather all the information and data since last night till the time of the event. There must be something to prove our innocence. You're a mafia group. There is no innocence. Why don't you just go and fucking kill them all already? Oh wait, Ray's not in that on, in that family. Never mind. Don't kill all of them. Just kill the, the bosses. If you're gonna go after an organization, go for the head honchos. Don't don't kick the feet. Kick the head until it bleeds. But you did send the assassin, sir. That's besides the point. Get on with it. Yes, sir. His assistant leaves and immediately gets to work at his computer. Clickety clackety clickety clackety. Father turns to me. You there! Halt, criminal! <laughs> How long have you been standing there? Enough to hear all that's going on. So, this is what they were talking about on the news. You saw it too? No, I, 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 I just completely said that, you know, as a guess. God, our, our character's father's not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? I guess the years keep coming and they don't stop coming. Damn it. I'm doing the best I can to get that story removed. I'm gonna send some people to the news station. We're gonna make sure they don't release a counter story as a cover up. Now get to your room. Fine, I'm gonna go masturbate furiously. I don't have any more time for distractions. How can you just dismiss me at a time like this? He says I'm the heir, but doesn't give me anything. I may not want to be the heir. But don't I have a right to know? What should I do? Well, I don't think we need an explanation. So I'm not gonna pay for it. I decided not to push it further. Besides, I really don't want to get involved any further. We have too much work to do now. There's too much incriminating evidence against us. Well, we are criminals, Father. In case you didn't realize, you know, we just probably killed a small child in the story. So, you know, because of some fucking tweaker you probably got at the Dollar Tree and was like, you're an official mafia member. So yeah, you know, that's probably what you did, Father, knowing your stupid fucking ass. Who the fuck names their fucking group of Red Stars? I mean, come on. I worry that we may have been framed. <gasps> Who would frame criminals? Oh no! Who would possibly frame criminals? Probably that Leo faggot. Framed? By who? We don't know. Leo's fucking family, probably. But I sure as hell didn't send that letter. Letter? The letter left with the victim's body. Didn't we 
like to not talk? There was a threat signed by me, but I said no such thing. You think we were framed? You know, I think that they, that every, they think they're framed, everyone. You know, I'm not sure, but, you know, they could have been fucking framed. You know, because that's not what they've been saying for, you know, the past few minutes or anything. God. Precisely, but by who? This wouldn't happen if you just acted logically. There's no need to send an assassin. That's enough from you. Go back to your room. It's partially your fault we're in this mess for interacting with the Bastilles. Now go. I have too much to do right now. We need to have them clear that story from the news and find the real culprit. I shake my head in disbelief. He still blames me? Of course he does. He doesn't want to take the blame. He doesn't want to take any fucking kind of blame. He doesn't even want to fucking work. He doesn't want to do anything. He's just a fucking piece of shit, too. What has he gotten us into? Who would frame us against the Bastilles? Leo, probably. He probably figures that, you know, the family's going to attack each other and keep t attacking each other while he moves in on the lovely lady genocide. There's too much I don't know. Clearly. I half regret not demanding more information. We don't need more information. I already know where this is going. <sighs> Mainly just by putting pieces together. But at the same time, I don't really want to know. I run towards the door. Oh, I turn towards the door. I leave my father's office. Lindsay is standing outside. What's up? Oh, Lindsay, you were here. Did you uh, hear everything? Yeah. Her grim face looks down. Hammerfox, are you okay? No. But yeah. I don't know. Probably. Oh. <laughs> takes a real man to say, I'm scared. But it even takes a bigger man to want to protect someone. But wanting and doing are two completely different things. We're going to win two women's affections in this game. No, basically, I'm just kind of stuck between Lindsay and Gen Genocide, and it's a little annoying because I like both the characters. But don't worry, guys, I do plan on replaying these games and actually going straight with one character each time I play the game. So, I want to protect you, Lindsay, but I'm scared. I want to protect you. She looks up and blushes yet again. That's the face we love, isn't it, gents and ladies? Me? No. Josh Peck. Of course you. The entire organization is in danger, but you're thinking about me. As any man worth half of his sperm should do. Well, yes. I turn red. I feel like this is all my fault. I would hate if something happens to you because of me. Ember Fox, I don't think you're at fault. She reaches out and reassuringly touches my arm. Thank you, Lindsay. Well, there's not much we can do now. I'm sorry. I need to take a rest. I understand. I'll see you later, okay? Sure, Frank. Sorry, I was drinking more tea. God, every time I fucking talk for a really long time, my nose my nose gets stuffy. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, an ember fox? Please, be careful. She looks at me concerned before leaving. It's been a long day. I check my phone. What's this? An unusual number displays on the screen. It's probably Leo. I don't remember hearing it ring. This isn't even a phone number. I open the message. I almost dropped my phone in shock. Your little girlfriend is next. Which one? I'm kind of balancing two at the moment. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but I'm kind of, you know. <laughs> 
Are you talking about genocide? Are you talking about Lindsay? Are you talking about... Well, Ray's not really our girlfriend. She's more like a... Honestly, in this story right now, she's more of an acquaintance. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're ending the story right here. Okay, that's good. We're going to continue on. We're going to keep on trucking. Every time I fucking close out of something on this game, I get this. <laughs> it's like... The Mafia Girlfriend wants me to upload another episode of my dog girlfriend. Well, they're going to have to wait. Because I'm going to start grinding for it tomorrow. I can't get that eerie message out of my head. Who sent it? Um. I don't know. Be a number of people. How'd they get my number? They probably went on Facebook. Who knows? And more importantly, who do they think was my little girlfriend? That's the part that confuses me the most, because, I mean, we kind of have two of them at the moment. Are we becoming a harem protagonist? If we are, cool beans. It really bothers me. It bothers me too, pal. Don't worry. First of all, I am single. Well, let's see. We've... Logically... <laughs> We've uh, gone out with genocide almost, what, four times, three times, I think? I think this is either the third or fourth time we'll be taking her out on another date. And then you got Lindsay, who he confessed our deepest emotions to, and who a lot of people like a lot more than genocide. No nobody really seems like genocide besides me, but maybe it's just because of the voice. I don't know. I, li I just like those characters in animes and stuff, but, you know... But, you know, we, we touched Lindsay's butt, so, you know, I mean, we haven't done that with Genocide. We haven't touched her at all, really. I mean, we, I mean, yeah, we haven't done anything with either of them, really, except, like, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay's the one we've been the most physical with. Genocide's the one we've been most with more, I, I guess you could say. Me and Lindsay are pretty close. I doubt anyone knows much about her. Leo has a thing for Jen, but there's no way he'd get my number. Never did never mess with someone who's determined to get that JJ And Ray, through the nature of our relationship, she's probably the most suspicious. Could it be someone from the Bastilles trying to play a trick on me? These thoughts bother me all day. Finally, class ends. Hey, Amber Fox, wait up. Oh. Hey, Lindsay. What do you mean, oh, hey, Lindsay? I mean, oh, hey, Lindsay, woman. You're not happy to see me? Let's just be an evasive ha uh, harem protagonist. Uh, well, of course I'm happy to see you. It, no, no, it's, it's not that. Gomen I just have a lot on my mind. Lindsay sighs. It's because Ray hasn't been around, isn't it? Huh? No. <laughs> Actually, no, it, it really isn't. That's odd, I've, I haven't actually even noticed. I've been making a good effort to keep away from her. What, you mean you of all people don't know? Well, I haven't been a lot of talk with it to her, so... Now she mentions it, I haven't seen her around in a few days. Apparently she's been gone for a few days. Normally I wouldn't care, but given her f affiliation and the circumstances... I can't help but wonder. Now I begin to worry. Thanks, Lindsay! <laughs> Thanks! God damn it, woman. <laughs> it has something to do with the weird message the other day. Um, actually, Lindsay? Ooh. We should confide in our closest childhood friend. I have something to tell you. What is it? It's not, I'm not going to say I love you, okay? Calm down. We're not there yet. It's about this weird message I got the other day. I'm not sure what it can mean. I show her my phone. What the hell? <laughs> she tosses it back into my hands. Who the hell is that? And what do they mean, your girlfriend? Is that the part you're most pissed off about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm single, of course. But I wonder if they might be talking about Ray since we used to hang out. Lindsay looks at the phone and then at me. No way. That's really creepy, but I, I don't think it's related. Maybe it's just another prank? You're not exactly popular after the little mafia fiasco. You got a point, but I don't know. 
I decided to drop it for now. I still can't help feeling a little weird. Like we're being watched? Lindsay, you don't feel anything? I don't know, and now that you mention it, something does seem a little off. But I thought it was just your mood. You know, Lindsay, you could be a little nicer. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to run ahead. The last time you did that, I got beat. I uh, got the crap beaten out of me, so please don't run ahead. I forgot I had some important things to take care of. Oh, <laughs> again? <laughs> You're going to get abducted again. <laughs> oh, this is this story, man. This 10 out of 10. Oh, okay. See you later, then. She runs off. There's definitely a presence, though. It's probably the spirit of genocide stalking us in the shadows. I'm definitely being watched. Sorry, I was drinking more tea. I cautiously continue walking. Just then, I hear a movement behind me. Before I could turn around, someone grabs me from behind. Got you. What? Who? Thank God, it's the one I wanted to grab me. <laughs> Jesus Christ! This woman! I turn around. It's my favorite girl, Genocide. The hell, Genocide? You scare the crap out of me! Psh! I was just waiting for the Lindsay girl to leave. I wanted you all to myself today. <laughs> Jen, I know you like me, but could, could you try to be a little less creepy about it? Please, Genocide, be more creepy about it. I like doing the voice for you. Aw, <laughs> uh -huh. you're no fun. She pouts playfully. Anyway, I heard the news about the feud. Isn't it exciting? No, not really. Not when you're at the fucking center of it, Genocide. I have some consideration for my feelings, Genocide. Why are we going apart? Oh, come on. I grew up around the center of crime all my life. Live a little. Yeah, but you were never directly involved. Hmm. Well, neither are you, <laughs> right? I mean, doesn't it have to do with your little father and his deal? It seems like he did something to make those Bastille guys really mad. Huh? <laughs> yeah, something like that. But that's not what worries me the most. Actually, it's this. I pull out my phone to show her the text. If anything, a tech genius like Genocide might be able to... Yeah, uh, figure it out. Huh? <laughs> Your girlfriend? <laughs> That's me, right? Someone coming after me? I didn't get to read that other line. She begins to freak out and frantically looks around. What? Calm down, Jen. I'm sure it's not about you. But I'm your girlfriend. <laughs> Remember? Jen, I, I know we've gone out a couple times before, but technically we're not. You know, never mind. Never mind. The point is, is I doubt these guys know about you at all. I'm worried they're, man, they're trying to target Lindsay or Ray. Oh, that, that, that face is uh, the face of nightmares. Let me just drink my tea before we continue, huh? <sighs> Alright. You know, the people actually involved in the organization. Huh? You mean someone out there thinks that one of those girls is your girlfriend? She scoffs. <sighs> Lame. But at least that means I'm safe. If they're out of the picture, that's less competition for me. She starts to snicker and looks around sneakily. Genocide, listen. This isn't a joke, woman! Fine. I know you're worried about those girls. But no one you won't need it to about it. I've been more worried about Ray. She hasn't been in school. What if something happened to her and the text was a threat to stay away? Then just stay away? If the message is from the Bastilles, they wouldn't hurt her since she's one of them. Maybe they transferred her school to keep you away to keep her away from you. That thought makes my heart sink. No, it doesn't really. But a threat from the mafia is no joke. I don't know. I just I just want to know that she's safe. Well then, what are you gonna do? <laughs> hmm. 
This is a very complicated question. See, the thing is, I really don't care about Ray that much. Like, literally at all. But... <sighs> okay, we're gonna look for Ray. I don't know, I feel like I should just go look for her. I just want to be sure. I thought you were forbidden from seeing her. I know, but if I find her, I won't even say anything. I just want to know she's okay. It's driving me crazy. It's really not. <sighs> Suit yourself. You're not going to help me? Jen shrugs. She's not my love interest. She crosses her arms and turns her head. What? Love interest? Literally, it's not. It's nothing like that. I turn hot in frustration. Ooh. Okay, now she's pulling a fucking Serana. If you don't know what a Serana is, basically, she gives you that passive-aggressive girl answer and fucking is like, oh, you know, come back when you miss me, you piece of shit. That's what, that's literally what fucking Serana says every time I play Skyrim. And, you know, I need a, I need another follower for a quest. Like, fucking Boethia is calling, you know, because I can't sacrifice Serana, even though I never would. But still, you know, and she's like, oh, okay, well, come find me if you ever need me or whatever. It's like, fucking, she'll be like, oh, well, goodbye then. Or, come find me if you need me. It's like, what? 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 Okay, bye. Jeez. Why do you hate me? Anyway. Anyway, come back when you give up and realize how much you miss a little old me. Genocide. I sigh and shake my head. She's so unpredictable. That's why I like her. Anyway, I must focus on the task at hand and find Ray. I'm sure she's fine. The first place I check is the library. Why would she be in the library? Quietly, I slip between the aisles and peek at the faces behind books. Huh? Who's that girl? I spot someone who looks like Ray, but her face is covered by a book. I hide in the aisle and try to peek out carefully. Please remove the book. I want to see your face. Suddenly, I feel a hand on my shoulder. I practically jump out of my shoes. God fucking damn it, this guy is like, gee, just fuck off, Mr. Pratt. Mr. Pratt? Shh, it's a library. He whispers with a finger to his lips. You better not be wetting that finger to shove up my ass later, dude. I'm gonna kill you. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same. Why are you sneaking around the library? Sneaking? <laughs> Smilgo was not sneaking. Filthy hobbitses. The noise distracted the girl who looked up from her book for a moment. It wasn't Ray. Come with me, I have some questions for you. Try to, disappointed to not have found her and not wanting to cause a stir. That's a great rhyme. I comply. Care to explain why you were snooping? Snooping? I, I was not. I just thought I saw someone I knew. School. I should hope you know your fellow students. Dude, I didn't even know, like, more than 30 people at my at, when I was in high school, alright? Because <laughs> everyone else was just a waste of fucking time. Because most of them were self-absorbed assholes. <clears throat> I'm not just being an, uh, an edgy asshole, either. I'm actually being serious. <laughs> a lot of people were self-absorbed and when I went to high school. You're searching for that Ray girl, aren't you? Are you following me too, Mr. Pratt? Are you just, you know, having some, you know, genuine little bits of tea with genocide and, you know, just being, you know, oh, this is a great little crumpet of information. Oh, would you like some tea, genocide? Oh, yeah, spill the tea, sis. What? How did he know? Surprised I know, your face gives it away. You're forgetting I'm an officer. I'm a master reading body language. Really? Then why are you still single? I stay silent. <clears throat> Miss Ray has been absent for, from school for several days, hasn't she? 
I wonder why such a sweet girl would cut class. She's probably doing drugs in an alley or something. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. I, I have to sniff. Give me a sec. It's like my, my left nostril just feels like it just has mucus in it. It's annoying. <clears throat> Could it be she's engaging in delinquent behavior? Why are you so happy all the time, you fucking smug prick? I can't wait to hang you with your goddamn tie, you ugly prick. I'm sure that's not the case, sir. Or maybe she's in some kind of trouble. I gulp and try to hide my concern. Gulp! That's it, isn't it? You're worried about her. I stay silent. Hmm. According to some recent news, it seems there's a feud between two top mafia organizations in our country. What is this country? Apparently, the group called the Red Stars put out a hit on the boss of the Bastilles. Would you know anything about that? How does he know that? <laughs> My father stopped the media from leaking any further details. I'm thinking that this is all Leo's fault, or maybe it's Genocide's fault. I hope it's not Genocide's fault. If it's Genocide's fault, then we're going full-on Lindsay. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't recognize that story. I don't remember seeing it on the news. What does this have to do with Ray? Mr. Pratt grins. Oh, there's a lot to you hear. It's not on the news when you work for the law. <sighs> Give me a second, I gotta breathe. <laughs> There's also evidence showing a girl from our school in a suspicious area. Suspicious area, sir. Pulls out a photo. The security camera, camera still of a back alley. The unclear silhouette of a schoolgirl leaving the building. Wait, this is that place I saw Ray going go into that day. The strange bar with the mahjong tables. That girl is Ray. There's several uh, accounts of concerned citizens who say this place is housing mafia activity. Took it upon ourselves to install security cameras around the premises. <sighs> I'm tired. While we have yet to record any solid evidence of any ma mafia activity there, here, don't you think it's a little suspicious for a young girl of our school to be in such a place? No, maybe she just wants to play mahjong. You never know. I feel myself beginning to sweat. I'm actually sweating in real life because my fucking AC is absolute trash right now. Not from his questioning, but because of the thought of Ray being found out, I just find it a little odd, the timing anyway. Rumors of mafia members in our school, <laughs> rise of a feud between the families, sightings of our students in suspicious areas, and now the disappearance of one of the girls. Hmm. Sorry, I was yawning. Seems a little. It all seems a little too orchestrated. Mr. Pratt. <sighs> There's a lot of talking in this. I just think that that assumption is a little far fetched. We all know that there was a recent breakout of the flu in one of the lower classes. An absence can easily be chalked up to the possibility of illness. If you know so much, can you prove it? You're close to Ray, aren't you? Are you not aware of her circumstances? We're actually not that close, sir. Remember, I see everything in this school. Okay, Jesus, just, can I go now? I don't want to fucking have half of my video with your stupid fucking ugly bitch face. Alright, you and your fucking gay haircut, dude. Let's go to a fucking fag bar and take some dicks in the mouth. I don't have time for you, dude. Don't think I haven't seen you flirting with her outside on more than one occasion. You sure it was me? Perhaps is there a reason you no longer talk to her? A threat by any chance? Oh, so you're the guy who's sending me the shit. Okay, I got you. I clear my throat. It was a lover's quarrel, sir. But we literally just said we weren't that close. I found myself turning red at my response. So you did have something going on with her. 
Interesting. <clears throat> no, sir, we were friends, but another friend got jealous and asked me to stop talking to her. It wasn't completely a lie. It really isn't. <laughs> I see. A love triangle, eh? Well, you see, it was almost a love square, but, uh, you know, I had to cut some people off. <laughs> and by some people, I mean Ray, so it was no longer a triangle. I'm just glad it's not a giant trapezoid. Because that now would be kind of weird. But yeah, now it's a triangle. And uh, unfortunately, you can't marry more than one woman. But, uh, you know, that's fine, I guess. Makes sense. I, uh, something like that. I'm uncomfortable and want to go. Uh, sir, I have to get to class soon. Hmm, I see. Looks me up and down once more, like a friggin' pedophile. I suppose that's all the questions I have for now. I'm, I'm tired of getting fucking harassed by you old prick. Leave me alone. But don't think I won't keep an eye on both of you. Wait, does that mean he knows that I actually hang out with genocide more than anyone else? Because, <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that kind of give him incentive to back the fuck off? I mean, come on. With that, I make my escape and head to class. Lindsay and I are walking home together after school. Finally. Lindsay, you're not going to after school? Not today, there's just too much going on around us right now. We need to be very careful of what we do for a while. Oh, that's... <laughs> I thought someone was actually calling my one of my other phones. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> all my other phones have turned off, and their batteries are all dead. Suddenly, my phone vibrates. It's a picture message. What the... I nearly dropped my phone. What? What the... What is it? My hands are shaking. Okay. It's a photo of a girl bound and tied to a chair in a dark room. The caption reads, How could the red stars do this? It's... It's... Lindsay gra gasps in horror. She grabs the phone from my hands. That's Ray! Hmm. Fortunately, that's all the time we have for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know. <laughs> and sorry if I sounded a little tired at some of the parts. I, I've had a bit of a long day, but the interview went pretty well. It wasn't bad. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I got the job, though. If I'm going to be perfectly honest. <clears throat> so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, next video will either be... Um, well, it's actually probably going to be... Um, well, when it comes to the... Do to, when it comes to the girlfriend games. Next one's going to be Loves a Canvas. So get ready for that. But as for the next video, I think I'm just going to um, upload my Minecraft video. <laughs> that I did last night and then I for and then I uploaded and forgot to take off a of private so hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one all right bye